Now we're going to learn how to grind the glass. Uh, first of all, let me just show you a little bit about the grinder. Like I said before, this top comes off. If I can get it off, with these rubber gloves on. And although I've kept it pretty clean, you can see there's a little residue in here uh, from previous grindings, and this is this is the dust from the glass, and it's just called silica. It's what glass is made of. Now, as I mentioned before, this uh, grinder originally comes with a smaller stone, and uh, on the the grinder itself, you'll see that it's <clears throat> got kind of a screw system here at the bottom and what that does is that picks up the water and brings it up through the hole to get onto the, the stone because the stone needs to be kept wet. I don't know if you can see it but this one's had quite a bit of wear especially in the middle. This one is starting to wear a little bit but we're going to go ahead and use it. Now in this head the uh, this plug comes out to adjust for the larger stone or the smaller one. So We'll go ahead and put it back in and turn it on. You can see that it spins at a pretty good speed and there's a reservoir there that you have to put some water in. I like to pour the water in until I just see it starting to come up around the stone itself. It is barely starting to. Now that's probably pretty good and I'll keep a little extra there in case it dries out. On your other grinders they'll have a sponge at the back and the water just seeps up through that sponge and that's right on the stone. You can see you can actually touch this and it's really not going to hurt you. Now's the time though if you want to use the rubber gloves, use them and you'll need something to protect your eyes. Some safety glasses or at least some glasses. Okay, time to start practicing with this. Let's take one that maybe you can see a little bit better. This one's actually cut pretty good. To give you an idea is you'll take your hands don't press on the paper, you want to press on the glass. Because once that paper gets wet, it might slide off. So you want to press on the glass and try to keep the paper in place. Do it a steady pace. You can see it's uh, almost ground down to the paper, just kind of check it once in a while. And I like to grind in this direction because the wheel is turning in this direction. So I like to grind into the, the direction that it's turning. You know, you can see uh, there's a little bit of a point here. We'll try and take that point off first. And then we'll grind this with edge away. I think I had my granddaughter glue this piece. It's not on there too good. Okay, check it. See where you need to grind some more. And then just nice and steady. You don't want to be doing too much like this. But it just doesn't do a good job. So nice and steady. Check it. Don't work on it too long. Okay. And I will go a little bit against the end, but I usually do my hardest grinding the other way. Okay, now we only have the curve left to do. Start with this thing. So you see the paper starting to come loose, so it will take you a little practice, kind of smooth it out, make sure it looks good. Okay, that piece is ground pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's do this one here. You can see it's got a kind of a messed up cut there. Uh, we'll handle that one first. Kind of just take and just grind it down a little bit at a time. So it's firm, but not too hard. Let the grinder do the work. Don't bog it down too much. Cut the edge. Draw all the way across. All the way around the curve. Alright, then you can look and see where you need to do some more. This looks like it's getting pretty close. Now sometimes, just to get a little more onto the, the good stone, I'll go ahead and lift this right up off the top. Right now, you can see that that piece of that stone isn't getting wet. So you can take a washcloth and put back here or just touch it with your finger. Make sure that stays wet. It's best though if you can 
to grind it right down on the surface. Just to practice at it and you'll get better. You see that paper starting to come loose, which is why you don't want to push on the paper. Okay, there's a couple of pieces done for you. I'll start another one and then we'll move on to the next step. This one's really bad. <laughs> 